morning peoples I'm here in the sunny Gambia again I'm just out with my homeboys here say they are in the car I don't know if you can see them there's the driver Lamin yeah, yes Lamin peace Yo, and brother. there you got Yusuf yeah Salam. man respect respect no man nice 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 yeah. so I'm just I'm just making some circles now with these guys today Sunday so I've been invited to a like a barbecue thing so I'm just gonna say hello to a few people and then I'm gonna go down to the barbecue so just follow me yeah, yeah. Africa just make me smile <laughs> smiling course of Africa this looks like heaven when I stare into your eyes girl I love the warmth of your embrace, yeah. You make me wear a smile, wear a smile when you smile. I smile, smile for me, baby. You make me wear a smile, wear a smile all the while. I smile, smile for me, baby. So I can take a breath Never seen a woman so beautiful yet then. Like the sunset When the light is the sky That's how we connect Wanna be with you at days Feel your breath at night Say this love is infinite It's much more than I deserve It only takes a moment of your time, your time. To sing tremors on my spine. my spine I'm so glad that you are mine You bring me joy You make me wear a smile Wear a smile when you smile I smile Smile for me, baby You make me wear a smile Yes, lad. I bought you a football, man. You want football? Right at the spot. Listen, share the ball. Yes, share it for everybody. Yeah? And I bought you the pump as well, to pump it, in case it goes down. Yes, so you need to put this safe. That. I'm coming, I'm coming. You need to put this safe, so when the ball goes down, you can find it, yeah? All right? Touch me. Touch me. Touch me, big man. Alright, yeah. Alright, so that's your ball. All of you. Play with it. Yeah, you're not going to play. Alright. Come. Come inside, come. Come inside, come. Let's come inside. Stop. Come, let's go. Let's go. Smile. Now we'll go, go. Smile for me. You make me wear a smile. Not the way you smile. Smile all the while. Smile. Smile. smile for me, girl. You make me wear a smile. Wear a smile when you smile. I smile. Smile, smile for me, baby. You make me wear. Yo, 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 I'm in a taxi going to some local charities that I've been able to donate to over the past month or so. So this is the first time I'm actually going there to see what my contribution has done. I'm with the lovely Lynn Blevins here from Ohio in America. She's actually here on holiday herself. Um, she's been coming to Gambia for years and she introduced me to these charities. Um, Lynn, where is it we're actually going today? We're going to Catafang to visit Gobi, the visually impaired and blind school for the children. 
and they have a lovely banana garden which helps support the school and the children so that's our first stop for today perfect so stay with us stay tuned and we'll go and see the children okay yes man respect respect one love one love one love yes welcome, welcome. yes yes yes, yes. yes. I want Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, man, everybody well, cool. What's your name, man? Yeah. You call me Ben, man. Ben, ben. Yeah. and what's Mac, your name? Mac. Mac. Yes, and what's your name? Muhammad. Muhammad. Yes. Yeah, All right, yeah. so you you guys cool, yeah? Yeah, cool. cool, man. So I'm just visiting the school yeah, today, man. Because, yeah. We are the Liberian, we like that. You're the Liberians. Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> so where are we, Lynn? We're at Gofi today. We're at Govi. Yes, the visually impaired blind school. Visually impaired blind school, okay. And what we're doing here today, we come to drop some stuff off, ain't we, as well? Yes, donate two bags of rice and to yeah. visit the children and the headmaster. Okay, so let's do this thing. Okay. All right. Well, my name is Mr. Jame, a teacher at the Gambia Organization for the Visually Impaired. I was posted here as a teacher that teach the students agriculture because they don't know how the work takes place, that is agriculture. So when I came here, I proposed to I teach them science and agriculture. The students don't know nothing about agriculture, specifically gardening. But then as of now, they can do gardening by themselves. Even at home, we have students who practice gardening. They plant their own trees there. So this banana planting, uh, is was we were having a sponsor that sponsored us to buy some of the materials but then that was five years ago and we are no more getting acquired materials for the banana to grow well. Water is our problem number one. Fertilizers and the, the garden fox and other instruments. The banana is very important to us because when we sell it uh, we give some money to the to the students to pay fare because some of them where they used to come from is very far. So if you sell it, we give them money to pay fare and also we give them food, we give them banana as to eat daily. So it is very vital to us. We'll be very grateful if we gain more support so that uh, you know it can last long. Because as of now it is dying. The banana is dying. The banana is dying because we don't have water, adequate water supply. We will be grateful if you have a borehole. A borehole is a good source of water and fertilizers and other things because you know, banana do likes water. It requires a lot of water for it to grow well. So we'll be very grateful if we gain more support from people out there, you know. We cannot see but we will conquer and this gardening is part of it. We want to conquer everything. So being a visually impaired does not mean that they cannot do gardening. We teach them to do gardening at home. We teach them about, you know, how to grow different kind of crops. So we'll be grateful if you get most of us. Thank you, Mr. King. Excellent. Thank you very much. Welcome. I'm fine. What's your name again? Yeah. Okay, I can remember now. That's okay. I come with my friend Posey. We buy some stuff here, we buy some rugs. Yes, yes, yes. We, buy, okay. we buy a lot of stuff here that day. But again, I have a visitor here from UK. He's a British. A lot of British. He's coming in outside. I'm here. Oh, I'm sorry. His name is Ken. Ken. Nice to meet you, man. Okay. What's your name? My name is Anis. Anis. Yes. And you run this side of things? Yes, we run this side of things. So All right. And what do we have here? Well, we do have door mats, wall mats, table mats, and some bags. Okay. Yes. It's up to you where you want to put them. Put them and who makes these? We are the really blind men make them. The blind men make them? Yes, one like me and one like this guard. Okay. So, we make them. so when we make them, we send them and then give them back just to minimize begging. Right. Begging in the yes. Do you have any other baskets? 
Basket. Basket. I just want to show him a basket that you guys make. They're amazing baskets. Yes, small baskets. Okay. Nice size basket. After well, you Well, you check the other man, man, which is there. Where do you go in there? Then? Yeah, if you look okay. at, I'll okay. put it There's some baskets there. Okay. Do you need to like, explain how you make this? Awesome. Let me bring something and show you how okay. we make it. Yeah, right. you can have a seat. Yeah, sorry. I'm just looking at the other one. So we're at the second charity for today. We've just come back from which charity again? Akaya. The school. Yes. We went to Akaya school and donated some rice, some pencils. What else did we donate, Lynn? Maggie, chalk. onions, chalk, yeah. erasers. Oh, and candy. And candy. You can't Sweets. forget the candy yes. for the children. But now we've just arrived at where? We are now in Bundum at Nusret. This is a high school for the blind. Um, this is a special one for me. It's close to my heart. My niece is a student here, and I especially come to interview her and the school. All right, perfect. So let's go and see what it's all about. Good afternoon here in the Gambia, smiling coast of Africa. I'm here with my lovely niece, Awa Jaju. We're here at Nusrat High School. Awa is a graduate of Govi, which is a visually impaired blind school. Now she's in the grade school, she's in 12. I would like to introduce Awa and let her tell a little bit about herself. Hi Awa, how are you today? I'm okay, I need I'm fine. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Good afternoon, each and every one of you. Auntie, I'm very happy about your coming. And my friends, Maria to and Pinto, how are you all doing? I'm very happy about you guys too. My name is Howard Yai, a graduate student from you, a Govi, senior, Govi Primary School. I'm someone who was born with eye problem. I am 22 years old. I am in grade 11 currently at Musa Senior Secondary School. Okay, my needs are, I want you guys to support us with our education with Musa Senior Secondary School. As we all know that Musa Senior Secondary School, they are giving us 100% support 
but the facilities are not that much too much. If you can help us with facilities like brain machines, computers, or laptops, so that maybe our school, our education can be go further and more. Right. Thank you, Awa. Well, can you please tell me how much vision you have? My vision is society. Okay. Are you totally blind or can you just see little, little? I can see little. Okay. Also, one of the uh, challenges that Awa faces is that she's 22, she's in the 11th grade, so we have applied for some things in the UK, but nobody seems to want to help because of her age. But they have to understand that we're in a third world country and not everyone's going to be the correct age and the correct level. So, in that matter, I was a very bright and intelligent young lady, and she needs all the help and support she can get, and maybe someone out there can help her as far as, we're not looking for sponsorship, we're looking for someone just to look at her and see her needs and see maybe if she can get into a more um, challenging situation and school. It was so right, it was so wrong Almost at the same time The pain and ache a heart can take No one really knows When the wrong for me to cling to you somehow I just needed time from what was to be it's not like me to hold somebody down but I Tossed high by love I almost never came down Only to land here Where love's no longer found Where I'm no I can let go.